We are the Iroquois. We're proud, we are strong. We've held on to our culture now, oh, for so long. A group of us uh, were very interested in contemporary Iroquois artwork. And we felt that it was necessary to have a place for Iroquois artwork to be displayed in a museum setting. We formed a museum in 1980. We got approval by the uh, Board of Regents of the State of New York to create this educational institution. And uh, the first uh, year, we opened in the upper floor of the Badgley Museum, which is part of the Schoharie County Historical Society. concentration is on contemporary Iroquois. Through schools, through many other museums, you, are lear you learn about the past. Uh, in our museum, you of course have to learn about the past. You have to learn about the archaeology of the Iroquois, the history of the Iroquois in the 1800s, but we really concentrate on today's Iroquois. And we do this uh, because we believe that through contemporary Iroquois artists and their work, uh, you can learn what's meaningful and important to Iroquois people today. are given uh, a great deal of respect by this institution and whereas there are some museums that probably exhibit um, they, they uh, represent the Iroquois being in the past this museum really has a, a definite focus on the Iroquois today and that we're still here and, and we didn't die on It's like, it's like putting up a building. You look at the picture first, you look at the blueprints, mm -hmm. and you look at the site, and, mm -hmm. and, and it looks almost impossible that there'll ever be a, a building there. Well, you go one step at a time, and okay. uh, architect or the engineers put their work into it, and you do the final thing, putting it together.
when they leave the museum, I'd like them to have an appreciation and an enjoyment for Iroquois people today, for the arts of the Iroquois people, and particularly to really understand that their culture is still very much a part of New York State today. with each other and share your own stories with each other. You never know how many more new friends you'll be able to make. And you'll also find out, I think, as I'm finding out, that we have more in common than we have differences.
understand that we are not different. specially designed dance arena amphitheater for performance of Iroquois social dancing. It's the only one of its kind in the world, as far as I know. And the uh, floor of that arena, of course, is designed so it's hollow. When you stamp your foot at the end of your dance, you can hear that boom go around. And the sound of those feet is part of the joy of Iroquois dancing. as a longhouse, as a teaching device. It is in the shape of a longhouse. The open ends are reminiscent of the porches of the Iroquois. The cedar shingles are supposed to be rem reminiscent in the layers there of the elm bark. The skylight on the top is supposed to remind us of the, the smoke hole. dedication, devotion from many, many volunteers to create this museum. I can remember um, a few days when um, all the shingles that are on the exterior of this building were hand dipped by volunteers and it took us days to do this. There's a tremendous close relationship between us inside this building and those things that are growing out there. It's a maple leaf sickness between us and them, too. And we're all just sort of here at the pleasure of the Creator, and filled with spirit, and we're not separated by much. There's nothing really substantially different between a, a dead thing, a plant, and a human being, and an animal. We're all sort of maple leaf apart.
When I came here uh, and experienced the place, and over the years, kind of turned it into a healing place for myself. And so when this opportunity opened for me, I saw it, I took it, and then used this as a healing process. Um, I've turned this into my mother's house over the years. And so every day when I go to work, I come home.